It is a nice stepping stone, though, into section 3.4. So that, that's really nice for us because now we're going to take this, and you'll notice there hasn't been any variables. What we're going to do now is introduce the, uh, the concept of a variable and be able to solve some of these equations. You ready to do that? No. Yeah. You excited to do that? Of course you are. Just lie to me. Go, yes, Mr. Leonard. This is the best ever. You ready? Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. This is happening. No, you, you missed the last part. This is the best ever. Best ever. Right, best ever. Okay. All right. I'm glad you think so too, folks. I think this is the best ever also. Let's keep going. <laughs> Some of you might have a good time in here after all. How about that? Every day. Every day. I have a good time every day. I think that's how it is. Okay, section 3.4. We're going to continue translating sentences into equations. The words we're using for equals are not going to change. So I'm going to leave those right there on the board because those are, are pretty much it. I mean, we have a few like yields, things like that, that, that pop up there every once in a while. But usually we see the words like equals, amounts to, represents, totals, is, or was. That's really a, a lot of times what happens. Let me give you an example of what we're going to be seeing in this section. But I want you to know that we're doing the exact same thing as what we did just a little while ago with, with these. We're going to be underlining the word that means equals. What comes after that is going to be on the right. What comes before that is going to be on the left. We'll have our two expressions, one on either side of the equation, and then we'll get to solve them, and we're going to know how because we just finished our equations. Oh my. I know, right? My arm got tired writing that. Time to go back to the gym. That's why I'm not an English teacher. Arm is too tired. Five less than four times a number is four more than the number. Wow, if we don't have a technique to do this, that can sound awfully confusing, can't it? Yep. Yeah. So let's use the technique that I just showed you. First thing that we're going to want to do, I want you to read through there on your own right now and underline the word that means equals. Don't say it out loud, just do it on your paper. Underline the word that means equals. What word is that? Is. Is, yeah, sure. I told you is means equals. Here's what's nice about these sentences. Whatever comes after the word is is going to be on the right-hand side of your equation. Whatever comes before the word is is going to be on the left-hand side of your equation. So it separates this into two expressions for us. So after we find the word is, we've got that. We've got our equal sign. This stuff's going on the right, this stuff is going on the left. Let's look at the first part of this, would you with me? We're just going to consider five less than four times the number. Notice how it breaks it into a smaller piece for us. Let's just work on five less than four times the number. What's some words that mean math? Less than. Less than. Less than. Less than. What's less than mean? Subtract. Subtract, okay. Now, listen. This was a special one. This is a special one. With the less than, this is not going to be five minus. Remember, five less than, five less than means after you do everything, you have minus five. Does that make sense to you? That's what the less than means. Five less than something means, if you, if you have five less than 20, you had the 20, right? And now you have five less than that. You have 15. So the five less than comes at the end. So when you're writing this out, yes, it's minus, but you know what I'm going to do for the less than? I'm going to put like a minus five, because I know that's going to the very end of my problem. Okay. 
Five less than, what else means math up here? More than. Times. Oh, I'm working just on this, this section. Times. times. Four times. Times means, oh, well, times means times. times. It's kind of nice. What else means math up there? A number. Uh, what's a number? A variable. And we want to pick, how about Q? Have we ever used Q? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. What haven't we used? G. How many have used? G. H. What? H. H. I like H. My G's end up looking like nines, so yeah. H. Like it. Let's do the first expression, okay? We have five less than four times a number. So what we're gonna do, what I, what I know about this is that whatever I have, I'm taking five less than that. So minus five is gonna be right there. Now what am I taking five less than? Oh, well that says four times a number. Let's write out four times a number. What am I gonna write? Four H. Now we should be able to read this first part and read this first part and have it make sense. 5 less than 4 times a number, here's 5 less than 4 times a number. F nudge your head if you're following me on that. Okay. If you reverse these, is it going to be the same? No. If we do 5 minus 4h, you're going to get a completely different answer. You're way, way off. So writing these properly is pretty important. Now we've done the first one. This was just an expression for us, which we've practiced already. We have the word is, that means equals. We just now have to focus on everything after the is. 4 more than the number. What words mean now? More than works like less than. So is it going to be 4 plus or plus 4? More than works like less than. So is it going to be 4 plus? Or at the very end, is it going to be plus 4? It's going to be plus 4. More than comes at the end. More than something is that, or less than something that's after. And then the number one is the number. H. Good, whatever you picked first. So in here, if we have four more than the number, I know I have the plus four, that's at the very end, and I have this H up front. Can you solve that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do it, see if you can solve that. On the, the last part, if you like, I mean, it says to do it that way, but if you do it the other one, it still work. It's for the more than, because addition is commutative, yeah. this one wouldn't matter so much. For yeah. the more than, the, yeah, the subtraction, thing, yeah. I mean, that really matters. That's why I want you to get in the habit of writing the thans afterwards, that way you don't get those confused. You know what I mean? I would hate for you to say more than and do it one way and then less than and have to think about it being opposite. That's just annoying. If you've already finished solving the first one, you may start working on that one. I'm going to give it to you in just a minute after I, I solve this. That person works. Okay, so 4h minus 5 equals h plus 4. We know how to solve those now. What's our first step in solving this problem? Good, smaller variable. It's already combined, right? There's no like terms or anything or different sides. Smaller variable is h in our case. We'll subtract h from both sides. Three h minus five equals four. And the next step. Good. So constant term. We're getting rid of that. I'm going to have to move over here. I don't want to run out of space. We're going to have. 3h equals 9. Our last step is always to divide if we have a coefficient. So we're going to divide by 3 on both sides. 
H equals 3. Raise your hand if you got H equals 3. Good deal. Okay. Try the next one. I want you to set it up in, in symbols first. Underline the word that means equals. That one should be pretty obvious in this case. Underline all the other words that mean math. Whatever comes before the equals goes on the left. After the equals goes on the right. Make sure you set it up properly and then solve it. I'll give you about a minute to do that. Have I already given you the homework for 3.3? Yes. Um, to get started, uh, Yeah, okay. You were rewriting it before the. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. Underline the word that means equals. Well, in that case, the word that means equals is. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Whatever comes before that equals goes on the left, after equals goes on the right. Let's deal with the before. 8 less than 3 times a number tells me something about some math. What does it tell me? Uh, less than 3 times a number. Okay, I heard less than, I heard times, and I heard a number. A number. A number, let's pick a number. You? I like the D. I like the D. I was thinking D, actually. Let's we'll use that one. Okay, times. Well, we know times means, well, times. Less than. Eight less than. Is it going to be eight minus or minus eight? Minus eight. Good. The less than goes afterwards. If this hit said, uh, 8 minus, then that would be 8 minus, or, or the difference of 8 and, then 8 would come first. But if it says less than or subtracted from, that than and that from mean afterwards. So this is minus 8. Let's work on the first part. I know I have 8 less than, that's minus 8. 3 times a number means 3d in this case. Equals, we got equals. 5 times the number, I know times is multiply. The number we were talking about is d, so we have 5d. Would you raise your hand if you have exactly that in your paper? Well, no. Well, I mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I mean a variable, you know. The only thing I can't have you put is something like 8 minus 3 times your variable. That would be a bad thing. You can't have that. Tell me the next step. What are you going to do? Get rid of the Which is? 3D. Subtract your 3D. Negative 8 equals 2D. Divide by 2. Cool. Negative 4. B. Negative 4 equals your variable, whatever you had. Ladies and gentlemen, how many people feel pretty good about what we talked about today? Good deal. Now, this is going to lead us into some more equations. We'll talk, start talking about that tomorrow.